Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add annotations to your YouTube video. So first thing you need to do is set up your YouTube video channel. That's pretty straightforward. Just register for a YouTube channel. And then you need to click on my channel here. You need to go to video manager here. And you'll see a list of all my videos that I've uploaded. I've uploaded quite a lot of videos. These are new ones about Blender. I've just done this recently. But here you can see a new video that I've just uploaded and it doesn't have any annotations at the moment so I guess the first question is what exactly are annotations so let's just check out this part 6 video and as this video plays you'll see these little pop-ups appear <coughs> so this is um, an advert but once this slide disappears, hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. We're going to continue with our 3D Blender logo tutorial. This is the annotation. Remember, here. so you can ask people to subscribe to your YouTube channel, or towards the end of the video, I ask them to uh, click the thumbs up button to like the video. So this is what we call an annotation right here. So let's go back, and this is a new video I've just created. Let's just fix this here. So this is a new video I just uploaded and here you can see annotations right here. So I'm going to click on that and the YouTube video will play in here. I've muted it just so that you can hear me rather than hearing the, the video itself. And you need to get your timing right. So normally the annotation that I display normally comes just after this slide finishes. So that's normally around 20 seconds. You can see 14, well, 15 seconds. So let's say around 17 seconds, I want to add a little pop up that's going to appear down here asking people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So to do that, I'm going to click on add annotation and I'm going to add a speech bubble and then I'm going to copy some text here and it just says click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel and get access to all my free video tutorials. Thanks. This is the little pop up you can see speech bubble and I'm just going to expand the window just so you can read it all and you can change the font sizes and the background color and stuff like that but I normally drag it to the bottom so it's away and then I'm going to click on this link option here and I'm going to cut and paste in my YouTube subscription link right here that's subscribe to my YouTube channel so it starts from 17 seconds I don't like to leave it up there for too long so you know 10 seconds just over 10 seconds should be fine so it starts on 17 seconds and it ends on 33 so that's fine but I don't like to leave it up there for too long so it will show and then it will disappear after um, you know about 10 10 or 12 seconds that's fine so I'm going to scrub towards the end of the video around here and it's already paused so normally I pause it so that I can pinpoint where I want to put the second annotation so I click annotation again and I'm going to add another speech bubble this will be a different one and this one I'm just going to say click here uh, that's wrong I should say please click the please click the thumbs up button if you are watching this on YouTube thanks and this one won't have a link it's just a message to ask them to click the like button the thumbs up button if they like this particular video and I normally position that there and it will start on 53 and finish on 9 seconds so it's just over 10 seconds it will show and that's it I'm going to click save apply changes here and I can go back to my video manager we can click on this video we'll move forward a little bit and we can see on around 15 seconds it will pop up this little message here here it is and they can close that if they don't want it if you click on the black X and that will close it and another one will show towards the end here 
just asking people to like the video. So do like it if you if you think it's uh, useful. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.